Hi, beautiful. <laughs> Today, we're going over the world's most Googled hair questions. The questions you have been dying to know the answers to for your entire life. This is some important business we have to do today. I'm here to answer all your burning questions. Now, of course, I have stolen this idea from Wired, who does this all the time with celebrities. They Google their names and see what comes up most searched. I think that's how it works. But today, we're Googling hair questions. We have stuff about haircuts, hair colors, growing your hair. We're gonna answer it all in today's video, and hopefully you will learn a ton about hair, maybe, just maybe, this video will help you in some which way. <laughs> but otherwise, you might just learn something really useless and kind of interesting. Let's check out what the world's most searched hair questions are. Let's do it. So why don't we start with the basics? Let's look up how does hair. Maybe we'll get some interesting things there. How does hair? hair grow? That's a great question. Also a very loaded question. So you can kind of think about hair like a plant. I love plants. Maybe that's where my obsession with growing plants come from because I love hair so much. But the hair bulb is like the seed. It's planted in a follicle inside of your scalp. And then the cells form in the hair shaft, which then pushes up and out of the scalp, and there you go. You have a wonderful hair plant made up of keratin, and it's a beautiful thing when it comes out nice and shiny out of your scalp, and there you have it, a wonderful fountain, a spurt of hair coming out of your head. And that is the four dummies answer to that question. Okay, up next, um, how does hair transplant work? That's a loaded question, and I'm not a transplant expert. We're gonna skip to how does hair dye work? Another loaded question, but I'd love to answer this. For you. Hair dye comes in a lot of different shapes and forms, right? We have permanent, demi-permanent, semi-permanent, a lot of different kinds of permanents. Today we'll answer how does permanent hair color work. Basically, the small color molecules penetrate the hair cuticle, which is that outside layer of the hair, and goes into the cortex of the hair. It then has a chemical reaction with the melanin in the hair in order to deposit that pigment into the cortex. It's a two-step process, typically for 30 minutes, the hair is lifted, the hair follicle is opened, it goes underneath those shingles of the hair, it then deposits the tone into the cortex. Really cool stuff. Again, that is the four dummies explanation. <laughs> it's obviously a very difficult thing to understand because this is science. So I hope you found some kind of understanding from that response I just gave. But if you don't get it, I feel you. All right, next, let's answer the question, how does hair turn gray? If you're interested in how how does your hair turn gray? I have an entire video about it, but I will go over the quick explanation of how this all works. However, if you want a more in-depth explanation of this, it's linked below. Basically, as we age, pigment cells die in the hair, which causes loss of melanin. And melanin is what gives your hair color. So without the melanin, your hair follicle is essentially see-through. And it can appear gray when it's layered on top of other strands that are sprinkled in your hair that are brown, blonde. It's just a reflection of light through those hairs to those darker hairs. Nobody's hair is really ever complete completely, completely solid gray. I mean, like, it's really, really rare to have a completely solid gray person. It's not often you see that, but if they do have a completely solid gray head of hair, usually it does appear a lot more white than somebody with a mix of dark hair and white hair. Because of how the light reflects through the hair, you're gonna see a lot of those gray tones being picked up from that darker hair behind the white hair. So essentially, gray hair is not gray hair. It's actually clear. It actually has no pigment at all in it. The hair fades over time and loses all of its pigment. And that's how your hair turns gray. Really cool. Why don't we look up when does hair grow? Okay, when does hair grow? We can answer that one for sure. We just kind of went over that. However, hair grows at all times, all day, all night, every day of your life. All right, that's the answer, I guess. When does hair loss start? Hair loss can happen because of, say, chemotherapy or a hair pulling disorder or tension alopecia. I mean, there's endless reasons why hair falls out. However, if we're talking about age only, it can happen any time after puberty. But for men, by age 35, almost two thirds of men will have experienced hair loss. <sighs> 
Say a prayer for my hair, please. Because I can't lose this sh okay? I can't. For women, however, it's all over the place. Some women don't lose their hair, some do. It happens at all different ages for all different people, but it's mostly men suffering from hair loss. Some females do have hair loss happen, but there's not exactly a said time when that's gonna happen. Whereas for men, it's around age 35, people start to experience the hair loss. When does hair grow back after chemo? I don't know the answer to that, and I'm not going to try and pretend I'm a doctor, so we'll skip that. Uh, when does hair hair stop growing? Never. Until you die. When does hair fall out? So that's an interesting one. Why don't we dive deeper into when does hair fall out? On average, people lose about a hundred strands of hair every single day. That sounds like so much, but you have tens of thousands of pieces of hair on your head. But when do they actually fall out? Well, that can happen at any time, any day. You can brush your hair and pull out some pieces. You can go to bed, your hair might get pulled. There it goes more pieces of hair. You can wash your hair. Some hair will come out. It's natural. It happens to all of us. You're not going bald. We all lose hair every single day of our lives 24-7. Okay, that's enough of that topic. Why don't we look up another thing? Let's look up why does hair, that's a good phrase, why does hair get greasy? Ooh, okay. I like that question. Our scalp produces oils to protect it and also rehydrate our hair, keep it healthy and flowy. So it's really just trying to hydrate and keep your skin from cracking, breaking, getting dry. Oil secretion is for protection. Now, some of us overly produce oil due to many different factors. You could have something wrong with you medically, or you could just be washing your hair too much, which then dries your hair out. Your scalp kind of freaks out and it overproduces oils to keep rehydrating your dry scalp. So then the oils move down the hair shaft and make your hair appear greasy. Because you're overwashing, your hair is overproducing oils, and the cycle just goes on and on and on and on. So training your hair to not wash it every single day is a great thing, and will actually eventually make your hair less greasy and oily. I know, kinda cool. All right, let's try when does hair color expire? Hair color can typically last one to two years after it's opened, and three years if it's been unopened. Now, it depends from manufacturing to manufacturer. You're gonna have to read the bottle and what it says, but typically it lasts quite quite a while. I know I've definitely used hair color that's been sitting in the closet for years and I'm like, oh, this still works. Yeah, this is good. This is good for me. So yeah, it actually lasts quite a few years. And the next question is when does hair color stop changing. So this is different for everybody. However, normally we lose all of our baby hair by three years old and then your hair kind of darkens until age five and then it all changes again after your puberty. So you've already had three changes in hair color up until now and then after puberty you're kind of stuck with that color for a while until your hair starts turning gray if it eventually does that or not. Some of our hair may not turn gray but that is the next step and then usually that's it. Then you're dead. <laughs> that's when your hair color stops changing. Changing, all right? It's pretty much your entire life, your hair color is always changing. It also depends on how much sunlight you're getting. So yeah, from baby, to grandmother or grandfather, your hair color is always gonna be changing. It's gonna keep you fresh. It's gonna give you new looks all the time. Let's get into hair color. How does hair color? Okay, we have how does hair color work? We already went over that. We have how does hair color remover work? Interesting. So hair color remover is different from bleach because it actually goes into the hair shaft, breaks down those large color molecules. So after they're broken down, the particles become so small that they're able to be washed out. Now, color remover is made to only wash out artificial pigment from your hair. So if your hair is naturally brown, naturally red, naturally blonde, it's not going to take anything out of your hair, essentially. It's only gonna take out those artificial tones that you had previously put in your hair. But it will not reverse any lightening processes that you've done to your hair because lightening processes actually just remove the pigment from your hair. It does not replace it with any pigment. You're still not gonna be left with your hair that you had before the color remover. You're 
then it'll be left with the hair that is just raw, lifted hair without having any color molecules injected into the hair anymore. So yeah, it sucks out all those color molecules, leaves you with raw hair to then replace the color molecules with a different color of your desire. How does hair color wax work? That's really one of the search questions. A semi-permanent color that just lays on top of your hair. Think about like frosting a cake, right? Frosting comes off the cake, doesn't stain the cake. Is that a good analogy? I guess. You can kind of leave a frosted coating on your hair and it'll wash out with shampoo. Hair color wax is super fun to use because you can instantly change your hair and it'll wash right out. On to another topic. Does cutting hair make it grow back faster? No, it does not make it grow back faster. It'll make it grow back healthier, but not faster, so. No, that's not true. Does cutting hair make it stronger? Well, cutting hair really removes dead ends or length, whatever you're trying to do. And when you remove those split ends, it prevents the hair from splitting and going up your hair shaft and splitting all the way up. Technically, yeah, I would say it makes it stronger because it's not split. It's a thicker strand of hair and it's gonna stay on your head for longer. So yes, I would say it makes your hair stronger. Does cutting hair get rid of lice? No. <laughs> No, I mean, actually, unless you're completely shaving your head, it'll get rid of your lice because lice thrives in your hair. So if you have no hair, then there will be no lice. But otherwise, no, just giving yourself a trim or cutting it, whatever, it's not going to affect the lice unless you shave your head. So I guess, yeah, the, the answer to that is technically yes. If you shave your head, you can get rid of lice. Ooh, I'm so glad I never got lice. Let me just tell you that. Does cutting hair make it thicker? Cutting your hair can create the illusion of your hair being thicker. Technically, it's coming out of your scalp the same as it has been, so it's not actually going to be thicker. But if you have fine hair and you cut your ends blunt, it's gonna make it feel and look thicker because you're getting rid of those straggly ends on your hair that's making your hair look very fine and fragile. Cutting your hair technically does not make it thicker, but it can create the illusion of that. Okay, let's move on. Let's do does brown hair dye fade? Yes, all hair dye fades. Does does brown hair dye cover red? If you use a certain kind of brown hair dye, yes, it can. Opposite of red on the color wheel is green. So if you use a dark enough brown with green undertones, you can cancel out red in your hair. Uh, so yeah. You can do that. Does brown hair turn gray? Yes, every kind of hair color could possibly turn gray. Does brown hair dye wash out? Sure, if you're using a demi-permanent, semi-permanent color, it can wash out. If it's permanent, no. Let's look up now, does blonde hair turn brown? It can, if you're born with blonde hair, it can turn brown. Usually that happens in adolescence. Does blonde hair dye cause cancer? No, I'm not a doctor. If you're seriously wondering this question and you want an in-depth answer, I would consult with a doctor. I don't think there's any scientific link to cancer and hair dye. If there was, I don't think we would be doing it. Well, maybe. I don't know. Does blonde hair fade? Um, well, pollution can make your hair turn a bit yellow. So I don't know if you consider yellow fading. Technically your hair doesn't get any darker because of the outside elements of this planet we live on, the pollution in the air. If you're living in a major city, maybe you have more pollution. Does blonde hair turn gray? Any hair can turn gray. Does blonde hair look less greasy? Usually blonde hair doesn't get as greasy as brown hair because it is so much drier. If you're chemically lightening your hair in any which way, your hair is automatically gonna be drier than brown hair. So usually the oils are being absorbed by your hair because it needs that nutrients and it's not getting greasy as fast. So yeah, typically blonde hair does get less greasy or appear less greasy. Does blonde hair age you? That depends. Sometimes, yeah, it can. I would say no. It can also make you look younger, it can make you look older. I mean, any color can really have that power um, to make or break somebody, that's up to you to decide, all right? That's very subjective. Does blonde hair tangle easier? If your hair is damaged, then yes, it's gonna tangle easier. However, no, I would say I've touched blonde hair that is very silky soft and uh, detangles easily. And I've also touched blonde hair that is very tangled and matted. So it's the same thing with brown hair and blonde hair. Okay, let's move on to how do I make 
my hair grow faster? This is the question everybody wants the answer to, and it's really the simplest question to answer. To grow your hair faster, you must be healthy. You must have a great diet. You must work out, get outside, be all around healthy, and your hair will thank you for it. It'll grow thicker, it'll grow faster, it'll grow shinier. If you're malnourished and you don't work out, then of course your hair is not gonna grow very nicely. And of course there is times where that is not true. Some people who are malnourished have great hair, but generally speaking, if you eat well, you exercise, you live a healthy life, your hair will grow beautifully. I am not a big believer in, you know, all these supplements and stuff like that that claim to grow your hair. I'm not a fan. If you've ever seen my sugar bear hair video, you'll know what I'm talking about. How do I make my hair color? Last longer? Okay, that's a good one. Use the proper products. Don't wash your hair a ton. Use a shampoo and conditioner that is specially formulated for color and don't wash it a lot. That's really the biggest secret that I have is don't wash your hair a lot because the color molecules will slowly be released from your hair and will make it fade and kind of turn weird colors. So just chill with the washing if you've colored hair. Don't wash your hair often because you'll be visiting the salon a lot more often, which is fine with me. I mean, <laughs> if you want to come in more often, let's do it. Let's do the damn thing. I'll take your money, all right? Otherwise, just stop washing your hair so damn often. Let's look up one last topic. Let's do how to get my hair to hold a curl. You know what you can use for that? Glitterati. Glitterati is formulated to make your hair hold styles and make it last. If you guys don't know, Glitterati is under my own brand, Ex Mondo. It'll be linked below for you. You can read the reviews. That will make any hairstyle last days. Oh, how about how to get my hair to stop breaking? Use the proper products. Stop coloring your hair so much. Get a haircut. Use electric rain. <laughs> Plugging my own products here. Plug, 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 but it's true. Prismatic Glow Moisturizing Hair Mask is gonna deeply replenish your hair in the shower. And then we have electric rain, which is gonna hydrate your hair and aid in styling it. That way you get that smooth, beautiful, shiny hair. So that's definitely one way of stopping it from breaking. And then otherwise, chill with the color, get your damn hair cut. All right, man, I think I'm all questioned out for the day. That was a lot. All right, I hope you guys learned some things from today's video, and I hope I answered some of your burning hot sexy hair questions. That was some of the stuff that people Googled the most. Listen, there were some things in there that were even hard for me to answer. I'm sure you guys could take something away from this video to better your own hair. And that makes me so happy. That is all for today, guys. Make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, at BradMondoNYC. Check out my hair care brand at XMondoHair on Instagram and XMondoHair.com. It's linked below. And that is all for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye.